few years ago, I was introduced to something that I want to share with others. I became aware that I was thinking. <laughs> now, I'm sure a lot of us know that we're thinking. We go around saying, well, I think this, and I think that, and I feel this, and I feel that. And that's what I spent a lot of my time doing, going around telling people how I felt and what I thought. And I was not aware that I got to choose how I thought as well as how I felt. It didn't happen to me overnight and it isn't something that I want to sit here and say is a change that will happen overnight. But it is something that I enjoy working on every day. The hardest work I do is on myself. And I take every thought that comes to me, especially the ones I'm aware of that don't make me feel good, in order to look into the thought. So I ask myself now, why are you thinking that? Uh, I enjoy conversations. And I started to realize that the best conversations that I will ever have is with myself. That every thought that is created manifests for me something outside of myself that I want. Whether it's something that I don't want or I do want, I have to consider why am I receiving this? Why am I getting this? Why is this something that keeps appearing in my life? Well, as I continued to explore as to why I was having all of these thoughts and what it was that was making my life seem like this giant hell on earth, I began to soon realize that it was because I was thinking the thoughts that made me feel bad. So as soon as I became aware of what it was that I was feeling, I knew that that was an indication that if it didn't feel good, that I needed to change my thought. Then I also started to begin to realize that there is no good and there is no bad. It's simply your thoughts on it. I can say that it's bad that my brakes blew out on the side of the highway and get out and piss and bitch a fit over why I'm stuck on the side of the highway. Or I could thank the universe for being pulled over on the side of the road in order to slow me down just a little to take a look at the things in life that we truly, truly miss and that are exceptionally beautiful. It's not necessarily that the situation is going to be changed, but my thoughts on the situation can be changed. My perception on reality is a choice. I get to choose how I want to perceive what we call reality. It's not always something that I find to be the easiest thing. It's something that I'm still a work in progress. And the hardest work I do is on myself. I think, I think that if I'm going to do anything worth doing, it is going to be something that's going to benefit the rest of the world. And the rest of the world will always benefit from me thinking thoughts that are positive ones. Ones that are here for you to create a wonderful world in which you want to live in. I spent a lot of my life believing what others told me, that you can't have everything you want. Life doesn't just give you the things that you want. You gotta go out there and you gotta work really hard for it. But what they lacked in telling me was that nothing on the outside will matter if everything on the inside is wrong. So I have this mind that I create that lives inside of me or I live inside of it. So why would I think the thoughts that didn't tell me that I was amazing and that I love myself and that I can do anything, anything that I put my mind to? I've seen miracles every single day. Uh, it's, it's more so, am I so busy being so ungrateful and focus on what I don't have that I miss it all? I miss the beauty that is sitting behind me. I will miss the fascinating human beings who have made tremendous, tremendous achievements in life to being Olympus, Olympic gymnasts who have no legs and they're tumblers. <laughs> and I'll sit back sometimes and complain that I don't have this and I don't have that. that you
don't get to be here. I mean, sometimes my gratefulness just flows through me and it's very simple and very easy. And there's some days where I'm human and I forget things and my mind takes over and I, I get lost in thought land. And I spend the day thinking about what I have to do and where I have to go and the next week and in the year and where am I gonna end up and what am I gonna do? I don't have this, I don't have that, but my thoughts are creating my reality. And some people will say, okay, no, Angela, that's not, but if you think things are going to be bad, guess what? You're going to probably see the bad. If you think things are going to go well, things will probably go well. And if things don't go well, then that's because you're thinking that they're not going well. Choose your thoughts. Choose all of the ones that you're aware of and choose them to be ones that always make you feel good. That's the choice that you have. That's the right that you were given. So embrace it and love it. Love yourself.